five great ways to create backgrounds in Photoshop. Go to Edit and Fill, and then go to Patterns, select a pattern, and select Script On and Symmetry Fill. Click OK, and then go here and select 7. Dilated Rotation, set them all to the max, and click OK. You'll need to apply it two or three times to fill the entire screen. Tip two, go over here to Layer and New and Layer, or use a shortcut, and then go to Edit and Fill, and this time, apply the pattern to a layer. Great thing about this is that once you've done that, you can go down here to Effects for the Layers panel, click there, and go for Bevel and Emboss, and you get a great bevel design. You can, of course, select different bevels to create different effects, and click OK. Another tip for creating wonderful backgrounds, use the gradient tool. Select that, select a colorful gradient, such as this, the spectrum or rainbow, and go with difference and linear, and apply multiple times, but change the origin point, as well as the length. And you can apply it three, four, 10 times to create all kinds of unique designs. Another tip, use filters. Photoshop's got lots of great filters. Filter and distort and wave is probably one of the best ones. And you can see straight away if you use one, set the wavelength to about the middle and amplitude also in the middle, sign and click OK. And you've got this stunning background very quickly. Another tip, you can use these backgrounds to create amazing pattern designs. Simply use selections. Go over here, select the elliptical marquee tool, create a selection, drag, and then go and set the select, and go down to modify and feather. Maybe apply 10 or 15, click OK. Once you've done that, Control C or Command C, and paste it back in again. You can use edit and copy and paste. Once you've done that, you've got your design. Make certain the layer's not visible, so deselect that, then go to the Selection Tools and use the Rectangular Marquee Tool. Select this design. Once you've got that, you can go to Edit and Define Pattern. And that pattern can be then used with all the symmetry fill, random fills, and much, much more in Photoshop. That's how I created the first image. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Always adding new tips and hints, how to use Photoshop in all kinds of ways. Also, a like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.